Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing video series videos I've been doing for a little while. I go over there and try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie, I'm finally doing another Oreo review. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, we'll get to that. Folks, it is a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, I have cat scratches on my arm, by the way. I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I like to highlight a super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Well, folks, it's right here. It's boom. It's my Stellar Circuit shirt. See? It says so. The only problem I have with this shirt, I like this shirt. Only problem I have with it is that, like, the neato design that they have is just on the back. And this is sad because I have, like, four Stellar Circuit shirts. They're a band out of North Carolina, by the way, that I'm very, very fond of. And they have, like, I have, like, two shirts where, like, the design is, like, right on the front. It's very cool, very neat. And then I have two shirts where it's, like, it's just, like, the little Stellar Circuits thing. And then on the back is the design. And it's, like, come on, Stellar Circuits, Stellar Circuits, guys. Want to go over there and be able to appreciate the design. But it's a neat design. Um, and they're a super fucking cool band. I found those guys a number of years back. I have been... Pretty much every time they come through uh, to Illinois, I try to go over there and catch them. I think I mixed something one time. Otherwise, you know, I've been there when they've been headlining. I've been there when they've been supporting acts. Like, they're just fucking fantastic. You know, they're going to be doing a little tour in Europe pretty soon at the time I'm doing this, which is like, holy shit, that's fucking amazing for them. Um, and they're just extremely good dudes. So, you know, if you happen to be interested in any of the stuff I was just talking about, by the way, I have a number of videos of their performances here on my channel. I have a playlist for just concert videos, just in case you're ever interested in my personal takes on music or some of my music adventures. But anyway... What am I reviewing for you today, folks? What are we doing here? It's an Oreo flavor. Boom! But it's a holiday one. Because, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, 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 It is hot cocoa flavor cream flavored Oreos. Marshmallow and hot cocoa flavor cream artificially flavored. See? Got two things. Now, Brandon, I hear you ask, but Brandon, yes, sometimes you do Oreo reviews. But why don't you review all of the Oreo flavors? And the thing is, like, Oreo comes out with quite a few flavors, obviously. And I do always keep my eye out for them. The reality is, is, like, some of them, I don't know, I'm just not that interested in personally trying. Like, and then on top of that, it's like, I love Oreos. Oreos are fantastic. But, especially being 37, I don't know that I need, like, an entire thing of them anymore, you know? Because it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, they're nice to snack on, but it's like, it's, it's a lot. You know, and I'm not saying that's against Oreos. Okay, I don't want to be besmirching Oreos. It's just, you know, sometimes I just want a few Oreos. If I could get the Oreo, like the new Oreo flavors in just like the packs where it's, you know, just like maybe like six of them, absolutely. But if it's going to be a full thing, I want to go over there and get like a flavor I'm really interested in. And hot cocoa seems really interesting to me as an Oreo flavor, so we're going to give it a go. Ah! Oh... At least one of them. What? What the fuck? I got gypped out Oreos. Like, I'm not even joking. Okay, so... Y'all saw me open the damn thing. I mean, granted, yeah, I could have been fucking around with it, but I wasn't. I promise you. Check it out. I'm missing, like, fucking two Oreos, at least. Here and here. What the fuck, Oreo? This one's full. This one, I, they, there's nothing. It's like somebody fucking got to my Oreos before I could. What the fuck? That is mega lame. I don't know, in all the times I've ever had Oreos, I don't think I've ever seen that. All right, well, anyway. Looks like this, it's an Oreo. Let's give it a shot. I'm so disappointed now.
I'm going to be honest with you, that tastes a lot like a normal Oreo. I'm not saying there isn't something else to it, but I think fundamentally the problem is, is that a normal Oreo works as well as it does because it's a chocolate cookie with some vanilla cream. And you have those contrasting flavors, the white and the darkness, the whole thing. It's wonderful. We all know it. I think the problem I'm running into with these is that you fundamentally, you've got the marshmallow and the hot cocoa, right? Okay. Those are basically, that's the same type of flavor contrast that you're getting with the normal Oreo. It's still basically sort of like a chocolate aspect with basically like a more sort of vanilla-y aspect. Like it's, you know, obviously marshmallow's a little bit different than vanilla, but yeah, man, these are kind of weak. I mean, they're okay. They're not bad. But the only reason why they're good is because they basically taste like normal Oreos. I'm not saying there isn't something else to it. There is a little bit more of a cocoa element. I can sort of get that. It's a little bit lighter of a chocolate flavor. Which, it does give it a little something. The marshmallow cream aspect, I'll be honest with you. I'm not getting much difference in terms of that. I mean, it, it's there. But the thing is, so because, and again, you want to create perfect balance with an Oreo. That's, that's why it works that well. The problem that I have with these is that in having, in adding in the cocoa layer, it kind of just goes over there. It's basically chocolate, cocoa, and then just the marshmallow to basically fend for itself. And while it doesn't entirely wipe it out, I don't feel like it really, it doesn't really allow it to go over there. Like if, if the cookies themselves had been like, uh, like cocoa flavored, right? And then you had the marshmallow, just the entire filling was just marshmallow flavored. Then I think you could have kind of worked with this. But because you have the chocolate cookie still working with the cocoa, the marshmallow just really doesn't have that much of a chance to do what it's trying to do. It's not a bad cookie. But it's just, it's so similar to the normal Oreo type that the little differences that there are, and there are, let me, you know, I'm not saying it's one-to-one -one or anything. There are differences, but they're just too subtle. You know, it just doesn't really feel like a particularly special Oreo flavor. When, you know, when Oreo comes out with this stuff, it's always a little bit hit or miss, you know, not all of them are all that great. Typically, you know, they're solid enough, like I don't think I've ever had a bad Oreo, per se. But, what's really kind of hurtful about this one is the fact that it's just uninteresting. You know, it's just, it's not a bad cookie, but again, it's just, it's because it's basically just an Oreo. There really isn't much to it to make it stand out. Um, I, I mean, two questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? <laughs> what, missing Oreos aside, which, by the way, let's get fucking somebody on the phone to go catch Carmen San Diego because apparently that bitch went over there and sold my goddamn, uh, my goddamn Oreos, heist of the century as it was. And if you're old enough to get the car, the, uh, Carmen San Diego reference, then chances are you're probably within my normal age bracket, at least according to my Google or my uh, YouTube statistics. Um, yeah, man, would I get these again? No, I don't think I would. They're okay, like they're not a bad cookie, but again, it's just there's nothing. I just get normal Oreos. I don't see a reason to get these. You know, they do a little something extra, but it's just so minute that I just I personally don't care. Uh, and then. If I'm recommending them, I can't really recommend them either. I mean, again, they're not bad. They taste like a perfectly fine Oreo cookie. They don't have, like, chemically taste or anything like that. They work fine, but again, it's just, yeah, because they taste basically like an Oreo. I think if you, if you already like Oreos, I mean, give them a shot if you want to. They're a limited time thing, you know. But 
mm, I don't go into it expecting much because there's just not much to it. Anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Stupendous rest of your Folks, you go over there have yourselves a truly proper Oreo-tastic rest of your life. Like, I mean, the joke has been made quite successfully that Oreos just kind of run it out of ideas when it comes to some of their flavors. And, uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I, do, I, don't think that, I don't think that they've run out of ideas completely. I think there's still horizons for them to strive for. But this one ain't it. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. If you can do, folks, you're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit-tastic, and it's not fair. But unfortunately, it's just, you know, that's how the world works. It's just vaguely controlled chaos holding everything together. And let me, the, 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 the vaguely aspect is, yeah. But anyway, it's important when we run into situations in our lives that are stressful, frustrating, etc. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of asshole shifts in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe, maybe there's some Oreo flavor that I missed, okay? That you're over there and you're like, Brandon, you should have reviewed this Oreo flavor because do 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 Okay, all right, well, first of all, hit me up in the comments. Don't just say it out into the ether because that doesn't help me. Just by my best efforts, my, you know, fucking complicated system of satellites, you know, to go over there and spy in on everybody in the entire planet. Hasn't worked just yet. Don't worry, I'm not going to use it against you. I might use it to go over there and bend it, you know, occasional politician's arm or something like that. Take down a dictator here or there. You know, boom, boom, it's, uh, there's things to work out with that system. Uh, but no, man, you know, I mean, hey, hit me up in the comments about it. I'll see if I can get a hold of it. You know, there, I'm sure there's wacky ones that I just didn't get. I wanted to try the chicken and waffles one. I wanted to try that one real bad, and I couldn't I couldn't find it. No matter where I went, I could not find it when that one was out. But who knows? Maybe there's, like, Doritos Oreos. Oh, God, I'm sure that by saying that, I just made it real. Uh, or conversely, just eat whatever Oreo flavor you really like. I think pretty much everybody likes Oreos, right? Even you got, like, the knockoff ones, which aren't as good, but, you know. Bye.